A story now that serves as a pretty good reminder to pay attention everywhere you go. Two Detroiters were arrested in Frazier yesterday after allegedly breaking into cars at gas stations. Cars that were left unlocked as people walked inside to pay. And as Nick Monticelli reports, these guys were barely hiding the crimes. It is amazing how brazen this suspect was casing this parking lot out here at the Speedway at 14 in Utica. First realizing a victim on this side, then parking on that side of the gas pumps, waiting for his next victim. And then in that case, he went in the back seat as the man was pumping gas. The right to remain silent that anything you say orally or in writing can be used against you in court. The story of Samir Baydoun okay, and Renee Yeldell is as interesting as it gets, starting with this surveillance video. The pair are accused of conspiring to rip people off, stealing from their cars. Yesterday at the Speedway at 14 in Utica and Fraser, the victim pulls up in this orange colored Dodge Nitro and walks inside to pay. Suspect immediately sees us goes right over to the car, jumps in the back seat, is in the back seat going through the car. That voice is Lieutenant Mike Pettis and points out that just 15 seconds go by before the victim comes back. Walks back to his car. This guy's still in his car, but he doesn't see him. As soon as he starts pumping the gas, you see him get out of the car there. It turns out Bay Dune and his girlfriend are allegedly behind another robbery earlier at this station and possibly a few more in Clinton Township. And how are they caught? A Fraser officer thought there is a chance they might use the stolen cards immediately. And lo and behold, they were at Meyer a mile away. He wasn't very smart and parked illegally right in front of uh, the entrance door, so he kind of stuck out there. Both were charged with the conspiracy of the crime. There's also larceny and drug possession charges as well. They're facing five years in prison, and both had a lot to say. I didn't conspire. I didn't okay, do anything. I wanted to mail it back to her. The substance, just, I'm just out of control, and I'm making very poor decisions. That's why I just finally, I don't know why I didn't do it before, but I really need to get into rehab and get myself together. In Frazier, Nick Bonacelli, Local 4. Baydoon has a long criminal history going back to 2002 and has three current warrants. His license has also been suspended 71 times. Also important, detectives are looking for the owner of that Nitro who was a victim. If that's you, call Frazier Police.